Hi everyone, uh, this is just a short video uh, going through the location settings on your iPhone. Um, I just thought I'd show you this because unless you've actually taken a deep look into it, you probably don't realise what your phone is storing about you and when it's checking where you are. So to get into this, you're going to click on your settings icon on your main menu. You're then going to scroll down until you see privacy. Yeah, click on privacy and then you're going to click on location services at the top. Now by default this is switched on, uh, which is useful because obviously you know when you're accessing Google Maps um, or iPhone Maps or anything else like that, weather apps, you want to be able to check the data on that without having to constantly be reminded to turn on your um, GPS location. However, you can go down and look at all your apps that you've got installed that uh, have access to your GPS and decide when it can access it. Now I've got quite a few apps here as you can see but the main ones are for example Google Maps if I click on that I've got three options never which again is not really useful for me because I want to, the maps to know where I am while using the app which is what I've got selected because that allows the Google Maps app to access my GPS when I'm using it in the foreground and then I've got always and again that can be useful in some circumstances but for me I don't want it always knowing my GPS because mainly that's just going to absolutely chomp my battery life so I set it to while using the app. Again there are a few things I can set like Facebook I'll go into that de in detail another point where I've set it to never um, and I'll explain why that is in a future video. Um, Dark Sky, uh, which is a weather app. Um, the reason I've got some grey arrows next to Dark Sky and Google Maps, that just means that uh, that app has accessed my GPS data within the last 24 hours. If you scroll right down to the bottom, it gives you a little key there as to what the arrows mean. So a purple one would mean it's recently used your um, your data location. Um, again, that's quite useful to see if you go, oh god, I didn't realise that app was even using uh, GPS. Um, so you can then go in and switch it off. Uh, the grey one means you've done it within 24 hours and the purple one that isn't filled in, uh, it's just an outline, and um, that's when you've set up a geofence. Now that's, people do that when, say for example, they've got a heating app at home like Nest or Hive and they want to tell it that once I reach home, that home location, it will then turn my heating on or turn it off when I leave and that will allow you to set up a little uh, virtual fence around your uh, house for when you leave and go home. That will again will tell you what apps are using those. So there is one other option at the bottom called system services and that will be explained in my next video because that is something that's actually quite important and not a lot of people know about it. Um, so stay tuned for that next video because uh, I can assure you if you've not been in there before you're going to be shocked. So thanks very much for, for watching. I hope this has helped um, you understand when and how your phone is using your GPS location and how you can take a bit more control over it. Stay tuned for the next video. Thank you.